Hey guys, um, we have a drift star here, and today we're going to show you how to replace the electronic speed controller. Um, that's the ESC, it's like the main brain uh, for your car. Um, basically, it, it regulates power to the servo and your motor. Uh, it's directly connected to your motor, it's also connected to your receiver. Your battery pack connects to this ESC. Also, if you follow this red and black wire, you'll notice it's also connected to the on-off switch. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to replace the ESC. Um, we're going to show you the tools required, and also where to mount it, how to mount it, and how to set it up properly. So let's go ahead and do that. Hi guys, so we're going to go ahead and remove the old ESC. First thing I'm going to do is snip the zip ties. Snip this one right here. I see another one right here. Careful not to snip any wires while you're doing that. Okay, zip ties are out. ESC is free. Um, now I'm going to unplug it from the receiver. Make sure you note that it's plugged into channel 2 here and the black wire is facing towards the outside of the box. Make sure you remember that so you don't plug it in the wrong way. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that from the receiver. Now this brushed ESC has two wires going to the motor, red and black. Make sure you do not reverse the polarity. Um, brushless motors have three wires, but in this case it's only two wires. So we'll just unplug that. And now we have the last remaining wire plugged to the on-off switch. Um, this is where you're going to flip the car around and there's two screws you need to unscrew to get that on-off switch out. That's going to be these two screws right here on the very side. I'm going to go ahead and unscrew those two to release it. Now that those two screws are out, my ESC is now free. There it is. Alright guys, now that you have the old ESC removed, it's, you're ready to install your new ESC. Um, you want to make sure you plug everything into the correct places. So let's go ahead and do that. I like to test everything uh, first before I fully mount it in and screw down the on-off switch. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to make sure I plug this wire with the black wire facing towards the outside of the box into channel 2 on this receiver. Uh, this brushed ESC has two motor wires. I'm going to plug black to black and red to red. Careful not to reverse the polarity. Once that's plugged up, I'm going to grab that battery that was shown earlier. I'm going to plug that up. Once I have that plugged up, I'm going to go over to my transmitter. I'm going to make sure the throttle trim is centered. Once the throttle trim is centered, I'm going to turn it on and test it. All right, we got forward, reverse. And we have reverse. So, motor seems to be getting power. The servo is getting power. So the ESC is good. I'm going to turn everything off and start to mount everything in. I always want to turn off the car first, then the controller, especially when you have the AM system so it doesn't run off. Hi right, guys, so now that the ESC is tested and working, we're going to mount it back onto the vehicle. Uh, I'm going to just organize these wires a little bit. Get them going in the same direction. On off switch is going to be going here. Okay, batteries on that side, so this wire is going that way. Grab your double side sticky tape and just Take 
let's get on there. That mounted nice and square. I can grab your zip tie and kind of just organize your wires so they don't flop around. I'm just going to loop it through here and kind of hold it down so it's away. All right, now that it's zip tied down, wires are a little bit organized. I'm gonna flip it around and mount the on off switch. Let's see if we can get that. And there you have it. ESC, new ESC is installed and you're ready to run. So stay tuned for more instructional videos on Nitro RCX.